welcome to the another exciting episode of 50 projects in 50 days with your favorite front end genius in this video we are diving into the world of web development where we will be creating a dynamic soundboard using html css and javascript you will be surprised that our javascript code will be just a three lines of code yes you are hearing a right it is just a three lines of code so guys get ready to bring some music and sound effect to your web development so developers our mission is to create a soundboard that allows user to play various sounds and music at a click of button so in our project firstly we have create a stunning text effect for the text of soundboard we will see how to create a stunning text effect and also we have given a sound of each buttons like applause this is the another button Okay guys, so let's get started with our HTML code. Okay guys, we have just created our HTML file here. Let's get understand what we have written in our HTML file. So this is how it looks without CSS and the JavaScript. So let's get understand in the HTML code here. So overall talking about, so this code is for the web page that has a soundboard. A soundboard is like a box with buttons that makes different sounds when you press them. The code start by saying HTML file and it's written in English language. So this is the file that responsible for and then it sets up the structure of the web page. The web page has a heading that says soundboard. Below the heading there are a container that holds the button for the sound. Each button has a different ID like applause or boo. When you click on a button so this is the on click function for the button so this is the play sound and we are passing here a this dot id it means this id is that is applause boo victory that is we are passing here and this function is defined in a separate javascript file that called in script.js which is included at the bottom of the html code the soundboard has a several buttons with different IDs and each button plays a different sound when clicked. For example, if you click on the applause button, it will play the sound people clapping. If you click on the boo button, it will play the sound of people booing. The buttons are arranged inside an inner container with the main container of the web page. This helps keep them organized and together. Also, we have given the text effect that is soundboard so we have we will see in the css what what did the css we have applied for this text effect so guys let's get started with our css file
okay guys fantastic excellent now we have our html structure along with our css we have applied a stunning css styles to our buttons and text effect and also a transition to enhance a user experience so let's get understand what we have written in our css file okay guys so overall talking about the in the css code the code is for the web page that has a soundboard a soundboard is like a box as we have in our web page that have a multiple buttons the code start by importing it to special fonts from the internet so these fonts will be used to style the text on our web page so these are the fonts and the next it says the background color of a web page to dark blue purple color so this is our background color this is our font family and this is overflow hidden then it creates a container that holds the elements of the web page inside this container the element will be arranged in a vertical column and centered both horizontally and vertically this is our container we have used here a width of 100 viewport and height is 100 viewport height so this is the container class and the code also define the styles for the buttons on the soundboard the buttons will have minimum width and height a small margin on the left side and rounded corners they will have a border and a cursor that changes the pointing hand when you over them the text inside the buttons will be purple and bold so these are the buttons in our page so this is our soundboard text css so if you see on the web page so this css is responsible for the text effect so we have given the font family to that text also the font weight font size and this is the text shadow letter spacing to space in the gap between the letters and text aligned to the center we have given the color and this is the text shadow this is what this is the property that looks effective in our text this one so guys this is all about the basic idea of this code it creates a web page with a soundboard that has a buttons to play sound the web page has a specific design with colors fonts and styles applied to different elements so let's get smooth toward the javascript now fantastic guys our soundboard is already looking great but it's not just about the visuals we want it to be functional too that is where the javascript comes into a play so let's get code the javascript for these buttons okay guys we have just create our script.js file and return our single function as i earlier said you that, that guys it is just a three line swap code so talking about this code is this code is the javascript function called play sound it takes an input called click id which represent the id of the button that was click on the web page inside the function it creates a new audio object this object is used to play sounds the audio file it wants to play is based on the clicked value it appends dot mp3 to the clicked id and create a new audio object with that file name finally it calls the play method on the audio object to start playing the sound associated with the click button so guys in a simple term when you click on the buttons this function creates an object that can play sound and tells it to play a specific sound based on the id of the click button so that's it for the script file okay guys let's see on the web page if our project is working fine or not so when we click on the applause yes it's working fine victory button
ओके गाइस एंड देयर यू हैव इट आवर डायनामिक साउंड बोर्ड इज कंप्लीटेड इट्स अ फन एंड एंगेजिंग एडिशन टू एनी वेब एप्लीकेशन और प्रोजेक्ट Thank you for joining me on this coding adventure. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more exciting projects like this one. Let's continue pushing the boundaries of web development together. If you are ready to add some sounds and music to your web application, this project is perfect for you. Join the front end genius on the journey of creativity and innovation don't forget to like share and subscribe until the next time keep coding and stay curious